Hello everyone, today is the last date for the finalization of the data of uh, list of candidates for class 10th and 12th. I hope each one of you have done the work properly and there are no error messages that is stopping you. The approvals of direct admission has been received so far and all the processes are done. Now uh, there are a few questions that are coming to me and I thought of making this video to answer them all. The first one is, is there a requirement for an e-signature? The answer is no. Nowhere while finalization of the data or making the payment, an e-signature will be asked. So you can go straight away, finalize the data, make the payment, wait for the payment to be reflected on your, you know, uh, on your portal and then take the printout of the list of candidates. And, uh, you know, after the printout, what needs to be done, take the signature of the father and the mother and uh, keep it with you. You know, at the relevant place, the principal needs to sign and keep the hard copy with you. The hard copy is not to be sent, sent to the regional office. What you can do is, uh, with the approval of the regional office, you can send a soft copy of the document to them. What I've heard unofficially is, probably there will be a link that will be generated by the regional office for submission of the LOC data, soft copy of it. Uh, this is not a very confirmed news from the regional office or CBSC. But in case they do it in future, you will be getting a proper circular or a mail and the link where you need to upload the data. Till that time, do not send the hard copy and just email the soft copy to them. And uh, as I said, there will be no prompt for e-signature, so do not worry about it. And there will be nowhere an uploading required. You just need to finalize data and make the payment. There's a term which is uh, there on the circular, which is uploading of the data, which is a little bit you know, misleading and confusing. I would recommend don't go by that. There's, there's no uploading to be done anywhere. I just heard few schools have gone ahead and uploaded the data on their school website. That is absolutely not required. You can pull it down from the website. Nowhere the uploading is to be done. Finalization followed by payment, print out and printing instructions already given in the circular A4 paper with a margin of 0.25 centimeters all around. And after publishing, uh, printing out, signature taking, preserving it with the principal, mailing the soft copy to the regional office and wait for further instructions of the regional office that's it in case you have committed certain blunders or errors what needs to be done in case you have missed out the migration certificate in case there is an error in the name of the child in case there is you know some uh, mistake which you have done and observed or noticed the mistake after the finalization has been done what is the procedure for that in that case you have to contact your regional office with a proper application and request to make corrections and amendments and it will be done by the regional office so do not panic uh, the provision of you know even uh, getting a migration certificate after uh, you know after the LOC has been finalized is there so you can go ahead and utilize those benefits that is given by CBSC contact your regional office and they will be doing the needful do not you know run around here and there ask irrelevant people who do not know about these things and get misguided or spend any money to get things done there's absolutely no requirement of any consultation charges or you know payment of money to any consultant over here the board has made it very clear whatever you need you approach the regional office yes it may take some time understand the fact that they have a lot of work pressure a lot of mails come to them every day and you know hundreds of calls come in every day so at times they are you know not responding as as uh, quickly as we expect them to but it is understandable so just keep following up if need be, if it's an urgent thing, you can visit the regional office if need be and talk to the regional you know, office in, you know, in charge or the exam in charge and get your things done. But preferably do it first through mails or phone calls because if large number of people start coming to the regional office, they will again end up in a, in a very tight scenario. So that's it. Uh, you know, if there is any other thing that you need to ask, you put that in the comment section of this particular video. I will answer it and um, any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section if you like the video make sure that you click on the like button and uh, do not forget forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon thank you bye bye